complain about any of that. All right, so we've got a really great match going on in the three pound arena. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight robots fight. We've got Voxel versus Starchild. Two very different, but very powerful bots. There we go, Starchild trying to get a good angle on Voxel. Voxel just dominating these, uh, these first interactions. Ripping off that friction tape on one of those wheel sides and avoiding those thwack bot, uh, those thwacks really, really well. Great driving for Voxel. Ooh, that knocked Voxel right back there. And we can see Voxel's big drum just ripping chunks off of those wheels, ripping that friction tape off of those wheels. The friction tape really just helps them get a little bit of purchase. Oh, Voxel missing a little bit of armor, hanging off the side there. And it seems like half their drive is no longer happy. Can Starchild take advantage of this? Yes, they can. Nice wow. big hit from Starchild there. Parts of Voxel are just hanging off. Yeah, not the place you want to be. Wow. Wow, was and that, that was originally? a weapon-to-weapon -weapon hit right there between those two bots. Not something you see very often with Starchild. But their weapon seems to still be functioning. Voxel is crab walking. Whoa, oh, nice oh. hit there from Starchild. Oh, the top ripping. is coming off, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely, ripping that top plate off of Voxel. We see that connection on the top right side of Voxel just completely coming off. Sorry, top left side. And Starchild coming in to pick their shots since half of this drive on Voxel seems to be down. But Voxel, with their giant weapon, still able to gyro. That top plate on Voxel appears to be more carbon fiber, so we're not seeing the same sticky issues with the top plates of other robots in Starchild. Voxel's weapon, though, is still running 100%, and that is a very dangerous, even with their locked up drive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, both of these bots are still capable of doing a lot of damage right now. You can just hear the weapons just going up into higher gear as we're getting into the last minute of these fights. Oh, it seems like Starchild's weapon might be down. But that's okay. They're still a pretty effective quackbot, even without that weapon. They're effective if they can get to where they need to be. It looks like right now they're kind of aimlessly uh, moving around the box, like unable yeah. to to get back to, to where Voxel is. Both of these robots are, are having trouble with this drive. This has turned into a blindfold fight at this point. Both these bots trying to figure out where each other are in the arena. This looks like it might end up going to the judges. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice hit from Starchild there. And another nice hit from Voxel there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the end of the match. Now, at the end of that fight, we saw Starchild's weapon kick back on. Starchild, yep. fully working drive, fully working weapon. Yeah. Voxel, half their drive gone, bunch of their armor gone, but that weapon was still humming. Let's driving, go to the judges. Driving very conservative uh, from, from Brandon Zelensky. Okay, Zach, your thoughts on this, uh, this match? That match was so fun. That was so cool to watch. You never know what's gonna happen. You don't know which one's gonna kill the other one. You're one shot away sometimes. Uh, the top plate slowly working its way loose. The sparks on the weapon to weapon shots, so much fun. I think the control probably has to go to Starchild because he was the only one able to actually pick a direction and go there. Voxel lost a wheel pretty early on and was just sort of crab walking and hoping for incidental weapon contact. Uh, Starchild probably has a slight edge on damage with the top plate coming loose and taking out that drive side. He was taking a pretty big beating too. Uh, and as far as aggression goes, neither one of them actually wanted anything to do with each other for about a minute in the middle of that. Um, but Starchild kind of wrapped it up. So I got to give that one to Starchild. And wow. again, I would watch that fight over and over. <laughs> Great. All right, Craig, it looks like uh, you have a kitty cat on your uh, your lap I and do. you're wearing a tombstone shirt. Your uh, your your I judgment am. here. Oh. Well, where's the cat? Um, I've got to give it to Starchild. Um, I think that uh, I think they were they didn't take advantage as much as they could have done 
um, once Voxel was down drive. Uh, but all of the big uh, big hits came in, uh, and, he, and he kept the control 